Hello everyone, I'm Kevin Hen. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. So here we are. Uh, gonna walk over to this guy. And unlike the other one who we uh, sent off into the stratosphere. Or the void, as I said before. We are just gonna gently wake this one up. And Strong Lex woke up and attacks in a grumpy rage. Oh come on, you really have no reason to be mad. Again, at least you you get to live and stay on this plane of existence. So what are you complaining about? Besides, now you've got a really cute nickname. Torso Boy! I kind of I kind of should name it Torso Boy now. I like I just keep putting the Snorlax to sleep, which... No, it's surprisingly uh, more useful than just letting it do its own thing, which would be going to sleep. Except it would be healing itself while doing so. And now it's not always set for 30 turns, which... Could it be a good or a bad thing? It's a good thing if uh, Egg Bomb keeps frickin' missing. Or hypnosis. If anything, yeah, I'll uh, let Egg Bomb miss as long as hypnosis doesn't miss. Okay, assuming I don't get a crit, I can get another more Egg Bomb. Assuming he doesn't wake up. Okay, perfect. Stocked up on more regular Pokeballs. Yep. I like how Snorlax is pink. Well, we'll eat anything, even if the food happens to be a little moldy. Never gets an upset stomach. Well, that'll be a good power to have. Oh, let's not make the nickname of Snorlax. Just send it off to the PC. Look at this guy, he's not even like, hey, you need to be on the bike to go through here. Uh, I'm gonna be dodging most of the trainers there, but I think this first one here is one I should be fine with fighting. Let's do it. Come on and play, little mouse! Well, I can't have Pikachu out right now, but I'm, I'm on a bike. Let's see, here's a cue ball, which... That I certainly misinterpreted that sprite, but I don't actually think that's the story I'm uh, I'm gonna be sharing. You won't be seeing this part right now anyway, so I can't really point anything out about it. Really? Well, I mean, I guess you are nine levels higher, but come now. There's no need for that. Okay, Egg Alert, see? Three hits, that's how we do it. I guess in this case, two was enough. But still. It'll be weak to low kick if it uses it. Yeah, that does. Live it. Oh, the police is in the round too. Good job, Tree Kitty. Hey, I'll go too. So I beat the cue ball. The little rat. No, I'm not actually gonna talk about the, uh, the thing I misinterpreted as a kid. 
That's pretty bad. Oh, uh, so I'm running and fighting kids. Did I want to fight you? Again, I'm, uh, dodging a number of trainers because, uh, we have good stuff I want. I think this guy has exactly what the other guy had, which, uh, I believe to just be two pincers. Uh, the other guy had two pincers. This guy has a pincer and a hit on Chan for the other third of clutch. Uh, hit run chain I would maybe sort of want, but I, uh, one of the other trainers I skipped also spawns one, so I'll be alright. There, there's trainers on this route that spawn both, uh, hit Molly and hit on chain, so. It's not like I necessarily even need to have a preference based on that. Please do a decent amount of damage. That is not a decent amount of damage. That is not a small number. That's a big number. Oh well, I guess it's cheap strategy of just use a ghost because nothing can touch him in Gen 1. Aw, uh, that's fine. Like Hello, Primeape. I like Primeape. I, uh, would have considered using one had I had never used it before and had used my champ. But seeing as I hadn't used my champ at all, uh, it, it became my, uh, fine type of choice. But oh well. It was another uh, fighting type that I briefly considered, but I uh, had it not going for. But I uh, see no reason to mention that right now. Burned out. Did did you did you hear that? Did you hear me considering? If I was gonna point out what the thing was. Okay, fine. I'll talk about it. I misinterpreted what the belt looked like, and I thought it. I thought I thought those guys had like. They had a weird guard thing over their crotch, obviously, but I thought for some reason that the buckle on the belt was just like their dick visibly hanging out. I don't know why I thought this, because like that's not something you would put in a kid's game. But I didn't know that as a kid, so. Yeah, that's what I had assumed, and I'm kind of embarrassed to admit that, but it's it's a pretty good story, because the squirrel got dead, but, uh, no. I totally forgot what I was on that route for. Excellent, okay. Well, we're gonna go back there in a second, pen. <laughs> just, just completely forget what you're there for. Alright, this guy. He was Oh yeah, 350 was still alive. I was about to say, was anything else still alive on my team? Or did I just deposit my final living Pokemon? And the game somehow did not, like, crucify me for this. Let's, uh, let's go back up, because uh, there was something in that grass patch that I wanted. Which uh, was the Pokemon that I talked about a couple segments ago as being on that other round when it wasn't. So, let's finally go get him. Or her. I don't know. 
I guess get him implies them, so that, that was neutral anyway, whatever. Damn you, society, for making me worry about those things. I think that guy's a long range trainer, so. I don't want to save him, even though he's not a very convenient one. Hello, there you are. And you're level 32, holy shit. Um. I, I thought you were going to be, like, level 17. Jeez. Okay. Level 32 it is. Um. Yeah, I was actually going to use this on my team. Well, I, I, I didn't expect it to be this highly leveled. And I, uh... I sure took a long frickin' time coming up with a nickname for this thing. But, uh, I came up with the, po the worst possible one, but it's kind of great, so I'm gonna use it. Capable of jumping incredibly high. Its hooves and sturdy legs absorb the impact of a hard landing. So, uh... Since it's a horse that's made of fire... I said I misspelled the word glue because I'm an idiot. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's hot glue to, <laughs> which which is a terrible joke. But hey, whatever. When have any of my ni my nicknames, specifically in this playthrough, not have been terrible? Okay, I did spell glue right. I like it when I I doubt myself on uh, very easy things. The question is, though, do you have a fire move? Yes, you do have Ember. Okay. Uh, I originally was going to use Ponyta as one of my original six before I started glitching and got the Gengar and the Lekatong and all that. But, uh, I had, a I had originally dropped it when I started considering having a seven Pokemon because Ponyta turned out to be... Well, to put it... To put it... Uh, bluntly... It was the most boring of the bunch, despite me never having used one, uh, which is not true, but I'll get into it in a second. Looks like there's a slowpoke. I'm gonna be looking at these and not really counting on them. But yeah, um... It, it was the most boring one, because it basically learns nothing except a fire move, and I can teach something else a fire move and have it have other moves on top of that, so I was like, eh, it's kind of boring in Gen 1, I'm not going to use it. But then I decided to use more different stuff. Also, I like how this one actually showed me the bio, because I had it registered in the it's kind of neat. And there's Omanite. And finally, King is gone. And before I even go anywhere, uh, go to the Pokemon Center because there's something I need to do before I head into what lies beyond. Um, but yeah, talking about Ponyta, uh, I would say I've never used it, but uh, the fact of the matter is that I never used it in a full playthrough. Uh, the very first Nuzlocke I ever did. Which, if you don't know what those are, uh, I suppose I assume everybody, everybody and their moms know what they are because they're no longer an obscure thing. I think back when I tried one, they were still kind of obscure, but now just everybody has done them and they're kind of old hat. But whatever, they they can still be interesting sometimes, even though they're. If you know what you're doing, they're very hard to actually fuck up without random luck. Because you're not really going to be losing a Pokemon if you know what you're doing, usually. But that's another point entirely. Uh, what I was saying is that uh, when I did that playthrough, and basically about losing them, I forgot to talk about what they actually are. Uh, 
Basically, it's where you, uh, whenever a Pokemon faints, uh, you have to release it or put it in the box or whatever. And, uh, the other major rule is to only catch one thing from each area the first thing you encounter. And no, I don't believe in rules that rectify that because that's easy mode and screw you. Well, I'm kidding, it's actually fun if you do that. I just don't really like doing it because I think it. It, it, it's not it's not the uh, the pure experience. So. Anyways, uh, my my elitism aside, uh, yeah, uh, I was playing that game and I caught a ponyta on that in platinum uh, above Orberg City, and I actually had it with me for a really large portion of the game. It actually came in handy a couple times, and we just caught a Rhyhorn. Cool. Along with the one track mind, once it charges, it won't stop running until it falls asleep, which is kind of amazing. Oh, that's not gonna be but yeah, uh, I used that ponyta until I got about to Celestic Town. Also, how about Execute? I've been using your evolution this whole game, but. I'm also an idiot. I went back to the Pokemon Center. And I didn't do the thing that I was supposed to do. Which was change boxes. Okay. Well, that's a waste of 500 bucks, but... Yeah, I'm gonna be leaving early. I guess at least I could catch the Pokemon, so it wasn't a total waste. And I guess I did have room for at least one more Pokemon, but... I best just switch up and... Marks, but yeah, uh, I had that ponies up until it was about Celestic Town, uh, at which point it and the Chingling I had been raising for a very long time, uh, both of which were about to hit the level 40 mark, which I checked my Chingling and through Rare Candies, that's about when it evolved. Actually, no, I think the Chingling had just evolved. I finally was done dragging it around as a Chingling, which sucked. And I got it to be Trimeco. And I I almost had my Ponyta to be evolving into a Rapidash, which it does at level 40, I believe, or 42. And, uh... Yeah, both of them died. It was the uh, double battle against the trainers with the, uh... The Raichu and the Gyarados in, on the foggy route. Yeah, that one... That, that one's a... That one's a meat grinder. It, it's very easy to, uh... Lose a fair number of Pokemon. Here's a good box 12. To not mess with my uh, organization in the other boxes. Yeah, so uh, I never ended up using the ponies out throughout the whole playthrough, but I mean, I got at least five badges in, so that was pretty good. And I, uh, it was surprisingly decent. It, it's thing is that it's more physical than special, which is fine, except in this game, obviously, uh, that doesn't work out so well being a fire type, which is a special type, so. I'm still gonna make it work, though. I just didn't expect it to find level 32, jeez. I did definitely expect it to give it that shitty of a nickname, though. I was really, that was really reaching for that one, by the way. It was really tough to come up with anything. So hello level 36 female Midoran. For a second I was like, wait, did I ever catch one of those? But yes I did. It's just another one. There's some more stuff in this first area, but I'm gonna mainly go for the goods in this playthrough. While also looking for one particular Pokemon, which I'm not going to spoil yet, but it is another team member, so... When it shows up, you will, uh, you will know what else I'm using. Actually, no, because I probably won't mention it until I catch it. I do like how his executes aren't wanting to be caught. It's very true to the start of the game when those executors were being 
Hello, Chansey. I, I wasn't expecting you to show up yet. Okay. I guess as soon as we don't miss the Chansey, then that means we catch up. But, you know, right in there. Which I don't care about, but whatever, we can sell that. I forget what team is here. There's Tall House, that's another one of Pokemon. Which actually stuck around, surprisingly. Quick, let's catch 30 of them and not mention it. And Team 37. Which I want to say is Egg Bomb, but... Yeah. It sure is Egg Bomb. Oh, Aglart knows Egg Bomb! Oh, how dumb of me. Oh no, I forgot! So I need to catch two more execute, which so far I'm not even having enough luck to catch one. Max potion. And don't know what this is. Full restore. Oh Nidoran. Get out of my face. Okay, can I actually catch one of you now? Also, the, uh, the mental image of eggs running is pretty funny to me. Let's see for just a moment if I can get another uh, chance to slash Taurus to show up. Or, you know, Marowak. I mean, that's fine too. Also, uh, I find that the best way of uh, dealing with the Safari Zone is just to throw balls. You could bother with bait and rocks, but usually just throwing balls is better, anyways. At least for what I find. This is a very patient Marowak. I'm just throwing these, like, baseball-sized orbs at its head, and it's just kind of standing there. Okay, now it ran away. These are not toys. Well, and immediately ran off. See, that thing I can imagine running off. There's a Cubone, which I didn't find the Pokemon Tower because I couldn't catch anything yet, so. I'll take it. Technically, they'd already have one, but. Not really. I only have 10 more balls left, so I might as well just ride it out in this area, because... I could make it, very well make it to the other area, and then just not have enough balls to even get through that, so... There's at least three more things in this area that I need. Actually, four. Because I still haven't gotten to frickin' execute yet. Cotton! That's what I meant to say. Hello, Cuba. There's Nidorina, which I could have caught on Route 9, I believe. I think they're there, but I mean, if they're showing up here, then we might as well know. I usually like to catch up uh, on whatever they show up, but, uh,. I guess since this route, or, or since I am here before I am even on Route 9, I guess this is where they show up. 
So, I'll take it. Saves me having to look for the rare Nidorina and Nidorino on that route later. So I assume Nidorino is in here somewhere as well. This one's not as patient. And now I'm not commonly finding the stuff that I want anymore. Especially Execute, because that thing was popping out like every other battle. I do want to catch two Need Arenas, one to keep and one to evolve. Can you not be a butt about this? There we go. Okay, that's at least, what is that, the only second Pokemon I caught in this run? Got Cuba and an Arena. And resting deep in its burrow. Thorns always retract, this is proof that it's rocks. Also, did they call it Thorns? It's a really weird to call them, not like spikes or like spines or... You know, just Thorns, which I think is usually like a flower to this thing. Oh, those rascally eggs just running away from me. Oh, we got Tauros. I don't know if you're 1% because you're showing up pretty often. Last ball, can I do it? Nope. Goodbye, Tauros. Hmm, not really. I'll just try again. Hey, you can catch all the Pokemon you want. I mean, I'm assuming you have more than 30 balls. Which, that's false advertising. I can't catch all the Pokemon I want with 30 balls in the amount of steps that I'm giving. Giving. I will, I will, I will have to point out every time I say something stupid, by the way. Oh, there goes a pile of spaghetti. Which I think they added to the Safari Zone in yellow. I don't think stuck around in any of the later generations. By which I mean Gen 4. Anyways, I suppose I should, uh... Not dilly dally so much in this run, and just make it through the end. Make it to the end. Oh, Nidoran. I'm not interested in you. I do like the Safari Zone in yellow, it combines. All of the things that were in there in red and blue. And basically just has like a full thing. I'm trying to think of what Pokemon aren't in here anymore. I'm straining to come up with something. This area is a good place to be. They kind of at least just stuck some grass here, but instead they're like, no, let's just have an empty area. I had forgotten what was up here, but clearly there was a good reason that I did, because there's nothing.
Where's your meal counter? Actually, I do something in the over here. Before I put away. Neat. Okay. Well, uh, there's my uh, Neorea problem solved. I also want to say that there might be Venomoth here. I know they are here in the other games, but I'm not sure about Yellow. In fact, I know for, f for sure that they're on normal room for items. So what can I get rid of? Toss the Awakening, because I got a, per a permanent Awakening in the Poker Fleet. TM40. What are you? Skull Bash. Interesting. I want to say that's just like some sort of potion or healing item, but. I guess I should check it. Get out of here, Charizard. A lot of people like your style. Just toss some items. I know it's a waste, but I guess I'll toss the... Uh... Actually, I won't toss the HP up yet. Oh, protein. Execute, can I finally frickin' catch you? Oh my god, I think I did. Yay! So after all this time, we finally caught an Execute. Heads attract each other and spin around, so there must be six heads for it to maintain balance. No. Guess it implies you can't have an Execute with less heads. What happens when it evolves though? Do three of the heads just kind of fuck off and find other heads to hang out with? Here's a good teeth. And I forget what this is. So there's two more items, but I don't know what they do. Let's ask the egg bomb TM. I guess I'll toss the protein. Just that this item is worse. I think I'm 30, 32. Is it just double team? That would be worse. Nah. Whatever. So we're the first person to reach the secret house. And we get the secret HM for Surf. I could just immediately teach to just about everything. 26 more steps. Arizona's trying to teach Surf, but you know what? Uh, I just gave it a uh, Bubble Beam, so I'm going to keep that for now. Just for the novelty of it. Tree Fitty, I have no reason to keep Water Gun. Maybe for PP purposes. I never use... You know what? I'm never going to use Mist in any case. So, screw that one. Just learn to surf. Because while Hydro Pump does exist, uh, I think Surf is better. I prefer Surf. Let's see what can fish up. Ooh, Magikarp, which actually I don't think I have yet. Because I never bought one. With my 26 steps, I'm certainly not going to make it back to the class. Might as well just fish stuff up and see if I can get lucky. Yep, sure as a fish. I we found swimming in seas, lakes, rivers, and shallow puddles. I like how it swims in shallow puddles. 
Magic Rock tries. Really? I also don't know what's in each area through uh, fishing if it is different per area or if it's all the same. It might be all the same. But there is two things that I haven't caught, if so. Okay, let me just... No. That's not what I need to do. There we go. For some reason it moves you to the top of the list whenever you uh, finish using the rods, so... Oh, we're just gonna keep doing magic harp. I love that. No. I also need to catch a second magic card because I get on. Um, I can actually catch its evolution somewhere in this game, I believe. Actually, I think it is in Fuchsia City, too, so... It's not in the Safari Zone. Which, if you've played the other game, seems like a novelty, because, you know, catching Gyarados is not it's no big deal. But it, it kind of is in this game, because uh, in Red and Blue you can catch them anywhere. Oh, how times have changed. Hello! Here's Dratini, which is grey for some reason. Or the weird greenish grey in any case. Um, are you gonna... Are you gonna get caught? No, you're gonna run. You know, again, very much doubt that that thing can run. We we'll call that a running gag, but there is just a lot of magic parts. At least we'll see there. We got your Dratini. I know Dracini is rare, but I don't think it's as rare as the game is making me believe it is now. When and if I hit 40 minutes, uh, I'm gonna stop that, so that's probably an attempt or two more. Even though it's not a two more. For half a second, I was expecting that thing to be shiny, even though that's not possible in Gen 1. <laughs> oh, actually, if we get in the third, it's comes. Come on, be Dratini. Nope. Okay. Well. So we're gonna run and we're gonna shimmy around here for a little bit. Until... Ding dong. 
Time's up. This far game's over. Oh, I got a decent haul. Uh, next time, we're gonna go back in there and get more stuff because uh, evidently I've had, I didn't get the uh, next team member that I wanted, and once we get that, uh, I suppose we might backtrack and try to beat something else. But for now, I am going to thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you guys all next time when uh, we will proceed through the safari times. For now, I'm gonna say goodbye.